Welcome to another episode of Type 17. We're talking about diesel injectors and uh, they're pretty important. Okay, so here's a Volkswagen 1.6 mechanical fuel injected diesel injector, completely torn down. Now, as you can see, I have my Bentley here. If you don't have a Bentley, get right on eBay right now, pause this video and get yourself a Rabbit Jetta diesel service manual. This is probably the best one out of all the ones I've seen. And it includes 77 to 84, which means we do have the beautiful turbo diesel. So if I open up here and I go into what is the fuel injection section, I can actually see a breakdown of repairing the injectors. Now, the problem is, is that they just tell you how to take them apart and how to put it back together. They don't tell you actually how to go about repairing them. Now, to get it to this point here, you're gonna to need to obviously take it apart. Now taking it apart, you're gonna need yourself a good vise. You're gonna to need to put it real tight on the upper part of the injector where there's a flat. So it's gonna be right here. As you can see, it has a flat on it. Put that in your vise. Make sure she's nice and tight. You get yourself a 27. Put the 27 there on her and make sure that she is going 90 degrees of your vise. If you put it over here, over here, whatever, you're actually gonna be taking the injector and pushing it down and it's just gonna keep falling. This way, when you're fighting it, it's going directly against the center of your actual um, vise here. So if you can't get it broken, you can also take one of these guys and put it on pretty much, this is hard to do with one hand, but you can put her in there like that. And that will give you enough uh, breaking force to get that thing undone. Now, once that's undone, this is what it's gonna look like inside. What I usually do is, is once it's undone here, I'll loosen up the vise a little bit, a little bit more. I'll flip the injector over. This is really hard to do with one hand. I should have used my tripod. Oh, yeah. Son of a... I'm actually using my knee right now for you guys. This is talent. Okay, so I would have it like that. And I would then take my 22 and unscrew it. As you unscrew it, I'm doing it that way because everything that sits inside of it, gravity-wise, is sitting downwards into the bottom section. So when you take it apart, all this shit won't fall out. That's important. You don't want to lose anything and you don't want to damage or break and get something dirty that shouldn't be dirtier. Once it's apart, you'll see this comes off. You have um, more or less, this is the nozzle. This is what we're going to be replacing. And uh, this is more or less the, probably the only super wearable item. As you can see here, I will put in my description, I have brand new Bosch diesel injectors with the exact part numbers that came out of the ones here. And these are completely original, never touched. So after this guy, you're gonna have your nozzle seat. And the nozzle seat sits on there like that, and she actually will mate. This is a mating surface here. You have metal on metal. There's no gaskets inside your injectors. So that brings me to the next most important step is when you're rebuilding your injectors, and the Bentley won't even tell you how to do this, you're gonna get yourself some sandpaper. Get a nice thick piece of glass, or if you're pro, you're gonna get a nice thick piece of granite that's perfectly smooth. I have neither of those, so I was just using this nice, super straight piece of steel. Put them, put the actual sandpaper on top of it. Get yourself some WD-40. You'll spray it. You'll turn it 45 degrees and go back and forth and so forth. And take it off every so often. Clean the bottom of it. And then check and see how you're looking there. You don't want to go crazy on it, but you want it to be perfectly smooth. And I'll show you where it's actually going to mate. So, as you can see, there's rings in it. Right, you got those kind of like those impressions on it. Now that's where the two pieces of metal have actually sealed against each other, and it causes those little ridges there because it's you know it's literally two metals going against each other at a torque. So, on the actual head of the uh, the nozzle here, you can see there's two mating surfaces and an inner and an outer ring, and that kind of mimics what you got going on here. We need to make sure that those two surfaces are perfectly clean on this guy. Not so much on this because we're replacing it; it's perfect, and um, no nicks. You know, uh, it's a little dirty there. You can't have any, you know, nicks on it or anything like that, deep scratches or anything. Anything you can feel with your fingernail on those two mating surfaces or else you're going to have a leak. So once that's good, you do the top section too, you know, and 
the top section is actually what's going to seal on the next thing you're going to need to clean, and that is the top section of the injector. And you do the same thing on here. You go back and forth on, on the sandpaper until that's nice and smooth and perfectly clean. Now, going back to the anatomy of the inside of your injector here, yes, we have our nozzle. That's a wearable item. It has what's inside of it is this pin. You can see on the very end there, there's a little nipple looking pin that's coming out the bottom. And if you take this, you can actually see it goes in and out. Now, what's going on here is inside of this injector, it's getting sent a, a, a pressure. The pressure gets regulated and, and then it changes it into kind of like a pattern. It, it's not just at all times. It's going like you know, in a very, very high seismic crazy pattern. And more or less how that's done is, is that you have this spring in here. And when the pressure comes set in here, the pressure builds, and then there's a breaking point. The breaking point is actually adjusted by this shim. Now, if you have an injector tester, which is actually kind of like a, a pressure tester, you, you'd hook the injector up into it, and you have a handle with fuel, and you can actually press down, and it'll show you the pattern, and it'll show you the breaking point on a gauge of which where it actually breaks the pressure inside of it and allows the fuel to come out the bottom. That's actually adjusted by the shim. I don't have a tester or different shims, so I'm gonna to have to just kind of wing this, and I, I don't know, it'll, or it'll work. Will it work completely 100% efficient? That I can't answer. Now, you have different parts inside here, so this is the nozzle seat that goes like that. Then you'd have on the nozzle seat, this little guy, this is the thrust pin, and the bottom of it goes into that pin on the nozzle, as you can see right here. That goes on there, and then the spring goes on top of that. And if you're putting two and two together, you can now see what's going on there. The spring and everything, the pressure is pushing that, and when the pressure breaks, that's when it actually allows the pressure to build up again. So it releases a certain amount of fuel, comes back open, and it's just a constant seismic crazy fucking disco party inside. And then here's your shim to adjust that. You just kind of put that on top. And then when you're building this, you'd more or less, you put your seat, your bottom here back in and you build it pretty much like that so that everything is going with gravity and you're not having stuff falling out and then obviously you'll take this guy and you're gonna put that down and screw it in and I'll show you that here in a second all right so I have everything ready to go I have my brand new injector opened but I haven't touched it yet you want to keep that as clean as possible everything needs to be clean as possible um, I've sanded down and, and created all of my uh, perfect mating surfaces ready to rock I've cleaned everything I've also done the main surface on here Go ahead and I have my lower section clamped in the vise so that I can take everything and place it downwards and use gravity in my advantage. So with very clean hands, don't look at them, go ahead and remove the injector, making sure that the pin is still inside. We'll go ahead and literally drop that guy straight down. As you can see, she's in there. Beautiful. Then take the nozzle seat, and drop that guy in. Take the thrust pin, drop that guy in, and just make sure that you locate that perfectly on the top of the pin inside of the, the nozzle seat. Take my spring, I will locate that around that perch on there. Take my shim and locate that onto the top of the spring and try to make it as center as possible. It will lean to the side. And then obviously we're gonna take the top section here and we will just guide that over the two and go ahead and screw it together. And obviously, again, everything as clean as you possibly can do it. Always keep cleaning your, your workbench. I use that little towel there to make sure that I know what, what's underneath everything when I'm working on it. And uh, hand tight that, take a 22, and just snug it. There we go, that's snugged. Um, again, my method of choice is always, I'm, I'm using air to clean everything because it's just better than leaving fragments of bits of the towels or anything like that on there, um, you know, fibers or anything like that. And uh, once you get that all, all done up like that, Grab your torque wrench, set it to 52 foot-pounds. Again, I'm using a crow's foot. All right.
point, once you're perfectly seated on there and you're comfortable, then go ahead and torque her to 52. And we've got 52.9, that'll be perfect. And there you go. You have a rebuilt injector ready to ride. Now, again, this isn't a full rebuild because we didn't change any shims or check braking pressure because I don't have the fancy little guy to actually test them. Um, but yeah, that's it. Injectors aren't that scary. Even I can do it. So can you. I'll link you guys right up to this. You can buy your injectors today, have your injectors out tonight, and have them rebuilt and run down the road tomorrow. I guarantee it. No, no, I can't guarantee that. I don't have the authority to guarantee that. But seriously, guys, take your injectors out. Rebuild them. Have fun. Don't be scared. Thanks for watching.